So here it is, the Battle of LA. Los Angeles Clippers vs the Los Angeles Lakers. And you know, the Clippers, they're in need of a, a series win. They need to advance to the NBA Finals. And with Chris Paul and Blake Griffin going into free agency, the Clippers need these two guys to stay. And if they lose this series, well, there might be a big chance that they're not going to stay. Game one of this series coming up. A lot of playoff experience here at this table. Shaq, what do you think is the most important thing to establish in the first game of a series? Well, not literally, because I don't want anybody to get suspended. But you got to come out swinging, Ernie. You got to capture the, the, the momentum right now. And you got to come out the gate strong, feisty as always. But again, you got to come out swinging. Ernie. Whoosh, whoosh. It That's is the sound I want to hear. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Yeah, but if you, whoosh, that means you're not holding back. Because this is not the time to hold back, Ernie. If you put a team on their heels early, you can really shape the series. I'm telling you, that is big. So you want to just impose your style and your will right away. Whoosh. So here it is, game one, Los well, Angeles Clippers, you know, these guys, they're a pretty good team, but, you know, in real life, if you said the Lakers versus the Clippers, yeah, I mean, after the Lakers lost to the uh, 76ers in real life, you wouldn't say it's a pretty close matchup, but in this My GM series, well, it's a pretty close matchup, actually, I mean, look at the score, 7-0, now it's 7-2 start, but, uh, the Lakers finally do something good as they get a steal and a slam dunk right there with Jabari Parker. Now, you know, I wanted to say this to start out the uh, the commentary. Shout out to Kobe Bryant on announcing his retirement. Um, although he's been playing like a bum in real life, this man, he's had some wonderful careers. He's one of the greatest players of all time. So uh, it's pretty sad to see him not performing as he once did. But I guess it's nice to see him, you know, finally giving up the shoes, giving up the, the Kobe 7s and the Kobe 9s and whatever, whichever Kobe's he wore, he's giving them up right now, so he's announcing his retirement, and, uh, you know, I guess it might be an Australian term saying giving up the boots, but, uh, yeah, in America, I don't know if they say that, but I'll just, gay, I'll just say giving up the shoes, you know, he's, he's retiring right now, so, yeah, shout out to Kobe Bryant on announcing his retirement, um, yeah, let's get into the commentary as, whew, Kelly Oubre slams it down right there, giving the Lakers a, uh, a lead going to the second quarter because, you know, they didn't play too well at the start of this quarter. In fact, they played terribly. And, uh, yeah, so to end the first quarter, Kelly Oubre almost got another slam dunk. And with J.R. Smith missing this fadeaway three, it's a it's a two-point lead to the Lakers going into the second quarter. But we actually fast-forward, man. We fast-forward on to the next one. On to the next one. On to the, nah, we fast forward to the last quarter. 65 to 72. The Lakers are down right here. And uh, we're going to see if they can come back. Ready. Gives it down to Blake Griffin who slams it down as he does pretty much every game. There's, there's always a couple slams. Once again with the alley -oop from CP3 to Blake Griffin. And then we come back with... Whew, did you see that move right there? You got around DeAndre too. Too smooth, as Chris Smooth would say. And we get a nice block with Hassan Whiteside, who has been balling in real life. I mean, he, he's had some, uh, some, oh my goodness, Hassan Whiteside, settle down. Oh my goodness, that was sick right there. Hassan Whiteside just, just did a windmill slam as a, alley, as a putback. It wasn't even an alley-oop, that was mad right there. Blake Griffin just doing what he does. But like I was saying, Hassan Whiteside, he's, he's had a couple of cold games um, in real life recently because he started off the year, you know, you know crazy numbers. He's still kind of getting those blocks. But as a Heat fan, you know, I'd like to see him step up on the uh, on the scoring category, man, because he needs to score some more buckets. And then I absolutely just get murdered right there by CP3. Yeah, man. <laughs> My ankles got broken. D'Angelo Russell got crossed up by CP3. He, he just said, you know, young blood, let me cross you up real quick. And then, you know, because it's CP3, he dribbles it out, gives it to Blake Griffin, and get, gets that mid-range to go. So the Clippers are looking very solid right now. It's 80-73, to 73, and with Chris Paul getting the layup right there and a floater to go over here, the game is pretty much done because there's only, you know, three minutes left. And with that type of lead, the Lakers couldn't come back from that. So the Clippers... They take game number one. 
And don't worry, you're going to be seeing game number two in this episode as well. So it's an 85 to 104 win for the Clippers. Blake Griffin, you know, he's talking to Doris Burke and saying, you know, what they have to do to get game two as well. And, you know, like all NBA players say, you know, they just got to do the same thing for game two, the same thing for game three, the, the same thing for game four, and then they'll sweep us. But that's not going to happen because we're the Lakers. We're going to come back and fire. We're going to fire back. And we're going to do some work in the next game. And if not the next game, we'll do work in that game after. And if not the game after, we'll do, we'll do work in the game after that. Because as you can see, there's one minute left and it's 111 to 86. We're not going to win this game. So the Clippers, yeah, man, these guys are pretty good. They take game number two as well. I mean, we're going to have to do some strategic planning because... We really could not face up against these guys. I mean, our big men down low, they were, they were doing some kind of work. As you can see, DeMarcus right there getting the rebound and slamming it back down. But we, uh, yeah, we got to step it up, man. We just, we couldn't do work. And with uh, D'Angelo Russell getting the, you know, the three-point shot at the buzzer, it doesn't even matter because, you know, the Clippers get this victory. And, uh, yeah, 20-point victory to the Clippers was not looking good for the Lakers. So they're down. The Lakers are down 2-0. As the Clippers uh, take the first two games. And as I said, you know, the big men are doing work, but the rest of the team is uh, it's kind of lacking. And I think it's our bench production, so we're going to have to step that up in the next episode. It's been your Borning Smith. I'm out. Peace.